The belt is definitely working hard. You can tell it's smoking. All right, so I picked up this 1994 Honda XR200R on Facebook. Uh, they said it rode, said it ran. They were just having carburetor problems. Turns out it was a lemon. Uh, the engine was shot without spending a ton of money, no resurrecting it. So I went ahead and took the engine out, right, and started taking it apart. Uh, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a Predator 420cc engine in it. I've seen a few people put 212s or even the Tillotsons in their bikes, but never seen a 420, so we're gonna give it a try. Um, clearly we're worried about space. Definitely gonna be short on space. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this part of the frame and start mocking up the engine to see how it's going to fit. We'll see how it goes. Alright. So you can see the huge difference in size from the original 200 and the Predator 420 engine. The ultimate goal is to try to find a angle in which we can mount the Predator. I know that the oil pickup is a concern with doing that, but it will save us space. Let me show you what has happened to this engine. So you can see right here, this is where the cam was, uh, and it had just eaten alive at this thing. It was just, it's torn up. The engine was full of metal. It's just, it's no good. why people don't do this or why nobody has done it it's just not enough space I'm trying to figure out how get the torque converter in here it's still gonna be in the way of the pegs we got the engine angled at about a 25 degree angle right now but it's still too close to the tire yeah I'm really starting to see why people have done this. So I keep messing with it, trying to figure it out. I wanted to try to fit in here. Predator 420 just wasn't enough room. Just weren't gonna have clearance. It'd have been way too much cutting of the frame, and it pretty much wouldn't have been the same bike. So plan is to make the Predator 212 fit in here. Put a torque converter on it. Hopefully this will be ready for Busco Beach mini bike mayhem with cars and cameras. We plan on bringing two mini bikes, my Murray Kart, the new Dingo, and hopefully this. This will be the newest addition to it. Uh, speaking of newest additions, I'd like to congratulate Scott and his wife for having their new son today. He's healthy and his wife's healthy, so it's exciting adding another family member to the Jumper Cable Dad's family. So let's get started. All right, let me show you guys what I've done so far. So I cut the frame, the original part of the frame to put the 212 in here. So I got it, I got this part welded in. Uh, this isn't gonna be enough support for it. So I'm gonna build a support that comes up to the, this part of the frame to make it a little more rigid. I'm probably gonna put a support here, put like a plate here or something to kind of support it. The original muffler isn't going to work, so I don't have anything to make a good muffler right now, so I'm probably just going to cut the top of it off and it's going to be coming up right here. Um, can't see it, but in the torque converter, I took one of, one of these 
and I bored out the center of the 520 sprocket that was on the original engine for this XR200R and I welded it to it so it fits on the torque converter picked up a new chain yesterday I haven't even run this motor yet so I need to finish up bracing hook up the engine put oil in it make sure the gas tank is nice and clean and this should be pretty much ready to go hopefully I'll be able to ride it today all right I'm done I think I had to take off the top of the airbox for it to fit I don't have an exhaust right now uh, I haven't started it yet the oil and gas in it now I haven't even opened the pet cock to see if my fuel lines are good so let's give this a try The belt is definitely working hard. You can tell it's smoking. I just burned up the belt. This thing is smoking. Ooh. 
Burnt up. And intertwined in there. Maybe I can find a stronger belt. Well, I guess that's it for this video, since I don't have any more belts. And if you've enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, subscribe. All of the above. Thanks.